What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. And today we're here to talk about this guy right here, the TP-Link Smart LED Wi-Fi Bulb and IoT device. So what does IoT stand for? Internet of Things. And basically that's just a fancy term for devices, physical devices specifically, that are connected to a network to exchange data. And more specifically, you'll know these things as things that you can control through the internet such as this smart LED Wi-Fi bulb. Now this is the second TP-Link device I'm reviewing and showing how to set up on my channel. And I just wanna put this out there. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just love their products. What I love specifically about their products is that they don't feature a hub such as other IoT devices. What this means is you're gonna have an easier setup and there's gonna be less clutter and just less things you have to worry about going wrong. Along with this neat feature, this device also allows remote access. What this means is that you can control the lights from anywhere, even if you're not home. You also get a choice of millions of colors, meaning you can change to any light hue, and you also get energy monitoring. So obviously we've got some pretty neat things going on with this, so let's go ahead and get into it. So before we go ahead and get into the unboxing, I wanna let viewers know that what I use to control the smart bulb will either be my Google Pixel Book using the Google Assistant or an Android smartphone, again, using the Google Assistant. So let's go ahead and open this thing up here. So we're going to have some instructions most likely there. And then we are going to have the actual ball that's in there nice and snug. It's actually pretty heavy. So here we are with a close-up of the bulb, and yes, this does have considerable weight to it when compared to a standard bulb, but we do have to remember that we have some extra hardware in here so that this can be connected to a network. Now, color-wise, obviously we've got the bulb portion up here, we've got some white trim right here, and some clear purple trim right there, but that shouldn't really matter too much because when you have this screwed in, it should look just like any other bulb. All right, so here we are in my bathroom where I'm going to be installing this bulb right in the ceiling fixture for the shower just for an awesome, beautiful showering experience. So first things first, I gotta go ahead and turn that light off, obviously, because I have to unscrew the old bulb and then put the new one in. So let's go ahead, let's get to it. Okay, this is gonna work so much better with a screwdriver. Screwdriver. Old bulb. Now before I go ahead and screw in the new bulb, I want to show you what the old one looks like for comparison. So I'm gonna put them side by side here as best as I can. Now, as you can see, the TP-Link bulb is going to look longer, and that's because it is. It's about an inch longer, so just something to keep in mind when you're installing this into a fixture. It should be okay for me, but I don't know if there are any lights where if this were to try to be installed, it would be too long. Now, the diameter, I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. It looks like it's going to be about the same. So just something to keep in mind there. Now we need to go ahead and screw this bad boy in. All right, so we got that in. I probably should mention this, but when you're doing something like that in a ceiling, there's always the possibility that some drywall or some dirt or dust can fall down while you're looking up. So wear safety glasses just in case. I probably should have, um, but luckily I'm fine. I'm, I'm gonna survive. So in order for this to work, you obviously have to turn the light on. So we're gonna turn that on first. And I can tell you this bulb compared to the bulb that I had in there before, is really bright and obviously that's because it's an LED bulb but it goes through the sequence here we haven't actually set this up yet but I thought that was kind of interesting now going back to the length of the bulb I gotta say I almost ran into a situation I barely cleared 
And actually, if you look at the rim, you can actually see some of the light showing through on the side. It's just a little bit, um, but yes, the bulb is just a tiny bit too long. I'm not too sure if there's a way to work around that, but again, keep that in mind. Okay, so now that we have the bulb screwed in, we're gonna wanna make sure that we leave that bulb turned on, leave the light switch on. And as I said before, I'm going to be controlling my bulb with either my Pixel Book or my Android phone. Now, in order for this to work, you're gonna to have to download the Casa for mobile app on at least one of your devices. And it doesn't matter which device you choose, you just need the app to configure the smart device to connect it to your network. Hey, what are you doing in the video? We've got a special guest. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show just how to do this so that we can configure this ball and get it up and going. So once you've downloaded the Casa for mobile app from the Play Store, you're going to log in and once you've logged in, you'll see all your devices you already have installed. As you can see, I have some smart plugs here and those are from TP-Link as well. But we need to go ahead and install the new bulb. And we're gonna do that by clicking on the plus icon in the top right hand corner. And then we're gonna scroll down to the device that we have. Again, that's going to be a smart bulb. And you've got pictures here to help you know which one to choose. And we've got the LB100 series. Now, of course, you're going to want to make sure that you have the light switch turned on for your bulb again, else it's not going to connect. It does need some power and you're just going to leave that light switch on. And again, this bulb is going to be controlled by voice. So even though the light switch is always going to be on, you can turn that bulb off by voice. So we're going to go ahead and hit the next button. Now we have to wait for the smart bulb to blink three times and mine already did that so we can click next. Then we've got some permissions we're going to have to allow. We'll hit the allow button. And now the app is going to look for my smart bulb. Once your device has been found, you can give your device a name. Our smart bulb is in the bathroom, specifically the shower. So we're gonna name ours the shower light. And then we'll just hit the next button. You can also give this device a custom icon from the list shown here or from your albums, or you can even take a picture. I'm just going to go with the bulb icon. You'll then have to enter your network password so that the bulb can connect and then the process will finish up. Now from all the devices I have ever bought from TP-Link, I've always had to do a firmware update. This may not necessarily be the case, but as you can see with this bulb, we're going to have to do that. So we'll hit the update now. And then the next page will let us know that the update is complete, your smart bulb is up to date, and we can hit done. And now this device should be saved in our device list. So now we can turn our shower light on or off using the app here just by clicking on the icon. All right, everyone, so we're getting closer and closer to finishing the installation. I don't have this set up to work with Google Assistant yet, but I do have it set up on the app. Now within the app, we can turn the light off or we can turn it back on. We also have preset colors to choose from. We're on the auto white right now. We'll go to the cream. We can go to the red. We can go to the green. And we can go to the violet. Now within all those colors, we have like this big chart here that we can just drag along to choose a different shade, different color. And you can also dim the light just by dragging along a bar here. You can pretty much bring that all the way down, almost to the point that it's off. And then you can bring it back up. I gotta say, this is really cool. Okay, so now that we have the smart bulb set up in the Casa for mobile app, we have to set this up to work with Google Assistant. So we'll click on the hamburger icon in the top left here. You'll then click on settings and then you'll click on what can you do. Then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom of the list where it'll say control your home and click on that. On this page here, you'll see all the devices that you have. Now we need to set up the shower light to work with the Google Assistant, so we'll click on that. And then we'll go ahead and give this a nickname. I'm just going to name it the same that I named it in the Casa for mobile app, and that will be shower light. 
We can then assign this device to a room, so we'll click on room. And what I normally would do is put in here bathroom, but I may also do the bathroom lights on the vanity. So I'm going to make a new one here. We're going to do a custom room and I'm just going to put on here shower. And then we're going to click done and OK. So now this should work with Google Assistant. Okay, so now that we have the smart ball connected with the Google Assistant, we're gonna prove that it works and we're actually gonna do this on the Pixelbook. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Pixelbook is a Chromebook, but it is the only Chromebook at the time that comes with the Google Assistant built in. So if you have a Chromebook other than the Pixelbook, you won't be able to do this at least until the Google Assistant is released on another Chromebook or the Chromebook that you have. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. Okay, Google, turn on the shower light. Okay, turning the shower light on. So as you can see, we can control that smart bulb with a Pixelbook or our Android smartphone or any other device that has the Google Assistant. Now the smart bulb also does work with Amazon Alexa, but I don't have any of those devices, but it should work pretty much the same. Okay, Google, turn off the shower light. Sure, turning the shower light off. Okay, so as we wrap up here, I do got to say that the smart Wi-Fi LED bulb, it's really nice. It is still kind of expensive. These things are slowly starting to come down in price, but it's an amazing feeling just to know you can sit on your couch or you're not even home yet and you can turn a light on with your voice, not having to use a switch and it's just magical. And this has good uses too. For example, if you're someone who has a hard time moving around your apartment or your house, you can access a light a lot easier by voice. Or if you're doing something such as cooking where you have to maintain really good hygiene, you don't have to touch a switch with your hand. Again, you can do it by voice. So I gotta say, I really do like this. I'm probably gonna be decking out the apartment more and more with these bulbs slowly but surely and uh, it's going to be very very interesting so if you enjoyed this video and found it useful as always make sure you leave a like if you have any questions or comments make sure to drop those below i'll try to answer them as fast as i can obviously the channel's growing we're getting more questions and it's it's starting to get a little hard to keep up but we're gonna we're gonna keep trying to do this and if you can make sure to hit that subscribe button it'll support the channel so i can continue to put out more videos these videos they take time and they take money so it's always appreciated and until next time leon checking out